So you want to know how to create the mean, median, and mode in Power BI, but don't know how to? Well, I'm going to show you. So let's head over to my laptop. So if you want to follow along, I've got the data set in the description below. So once you're in your Power BI desktop, what you want to do is head over to get data and import the data set. And the two data sets we're going to be using in this one is best actor and best actor 2010s. The best actor one has more information where the 2010s one is limited to just the decade and the age. But one thing we need to do, because I want to be able to show you what the data looks like while we're moving along, you don't have to do this, but just to make it easier so then you can follow along. I'm just gonna go in here and just gonna quickly transform and add an index. So if you click on add column, index column, do from one, and then you've just got an index. And then if we just do close and apply, we now have our two tables and you'll see why I've added the index because if I add decade and age, it's summing. So I want to get rid of my sums, make some rise. We can see here we've got all the ones there. If we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's missing one because it's rolling up. So what I can do, I can drop in my index, remove the sum, and now you can see we have 10 rows. So if we just order these, to the oldest to the youngest and then we can just see the ages there and I'll just make this a bit bigger so it's easier for you to see while we go along and do the mean medium mode. So let's start with the mean and the mean is really simple because all it's doing is the average and the average is basically counting up all the rows and then dividing by the number of rows. So in this case we can see 459 is the sum of the ages, but if we were to divide that by 10, we'll get 45.9 as your mean age range because it's average. And because it's average, all you have to do is create a new measure and let's just call this mean age 2010s. And then we want to type in average and then we want to pick the age from 2010s, close bracket. And then if we drop in a card and then drop in the mean, we see the 45.9. As you can see, it's really simple to just to get the mean, and it's also really simple to get the median. It's exactly the same process. So if we just nick the code here and just go new measure, type in there, and then just call this median. And instead of average, we just type median. There it is. We do that. Let's just nick that card, copy paste, put it over here, drop in the median. And now we've got the median and how the median has worked out 42.5 is because it's found the middle number. So if we look here and we count down one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, because it's an even number, there's no middle number. So the middle number is between 44 and 41. Because there's a difference of three, we half that, take away 1.5 from 44, you get 42.5. And obviously, and if you add 1.5 to 41, you get 42.5. So that's how the median is calculated. Unfortunately, we don't have nice and simple mode in Power BI. We have to use a means to be able to do a calculated table just like this to find what the mode is. And if you've noticed, the mode in this table is 41 because it's the most common value in the table. And as this one's quite simple that it's just the only one that's counted twice and it's a very small table, we can see that and we could just go, oh, 41 without having to do the calculation. But if you had a bigger table and everything, this gives you a better way of being able to figure this out. How you do this is what we wanna do, if I just copy this code over just to save time and I can go through it bit by bit, is if I just drop this in now, just copy that, copy that, and remember we want it to be 41, we can see 41. Now you might be looking at this code and going, whoa, what's this? Too much information. It's not that complicated if you break it down into its little components because all you're doing is creating a table within a table and then finding the max of the table by going top n one and then giving you your max the top n will give you whatever the same amount is max will give you the top amount now you can do this with min and i'll show that in the next example that can pick up if mode has more than one that's the same amount but gives you a result for the top and the bottom. So how this is broken down is as I said this section here is basically creating a table. So if we copy that and if we click on modeling and then go new table and if we type in that and we call this add columns if we come into here 
we can see that add columns has now created a table where it's done a count. So now you've got one for 33 all the way up to 60, but we know 41 had two. So that's where that count comes in. So now we've got that count. What we need next is for it to order so it finds out what the highest amount is. So how that's done is if we take the top end section and then put that in. And then if we created another table, so we go to modeling, new table, paste in that code and then call this top N. If we go over, we can now see where we had this whole table. Top N has found this to be the top amount and therefore just left you with the frequency to give you the mode because that's the highest number. And then all the remaining part is doing is taking the max from the table. So it's max X. So max X, you're going to be using X's when you're doing a calculation across the table and then you're applying it against what the actual table is. So this is basically going in, figuring out the whole table, and then you're going, what's the max amount? If you were to have more than one, so say if there was 44 as well, and that was in there twice. If 41 was above and 44 was down below, this max over here would give you the result of the 41 because it's at the top. But if you want to see the bottom, then you would want to have the min because then that will show you the one before. Now, what happens if you have one that's in the middle? You can have that as well, but it's a good idea to maybe not just have mode for just max, but also when you create one, do one for min. And I'll show you how to do that with the next table over here. So if we were to go back, let's just create a new page. So if I was just to add in best actor, so let's start with actor name, and then we want to go the year of the award. I'm gonna have to get rid of the sum, and then the decade, and then the age, get rid of the sum, and let's open that up. And then let's add film, but use that as a count. So we can count how many there are. We can see there's 95 films here, so let's just call this count. And what I'll do, I'll just make this a bit bigger for everyone. And I'm going to do this by very crudely taking that table, format painter, paste it in. And now we've got a bigger table. <laughs> nice. So now we've got the bigger table so you can see more data. There we go. And then you can see we have a lot more data here. And if we just order by year, we can see the last person to win was Will Smith, as we all know what happened there. And then we can see our 2010s down here and we can see of those 2010s the 241s were Casey Affleck and Leonardo DiCaprio. If we were to try and figure out what the age would be along here this would be too much to kind of figure out or sort of mode median could kind of set it but this is why you have the calculation just makes your life so much easier so if we create the mean for best actor we can see if that is higher or lower than just the decade of the 2010 so like the same before all we've got is mean age and then all just to give it the name so we can differentiate between the two and then again average and then you're just putting in the age or whatever column you want to use. But in this case, we're using age. Let me just put that in. And then we just do card. And then we just drop in. Done it under the wrong one here. <laughs> Let's move that quick. There we go. And now if we drop that in, we can see our mean age is 44.45. So if we just make that one decimal place. And then let's bring that down. So we can do median and mode. So for this one, we want to get the median and what we can do we can just nick this one and then just go new measure median age all and then change best actor 2010s to just best actor and again let's make that one decimal place and let's drop that in we now have the median and if we look back here the mean age was 45.9 so it's actually younger for all best actor winners over since the oscars has been running than it is for the decade 2010s and then if we have a look at the median that is actually lower in 2010s only by half a year but it shows the average how that skews differently when you've got the median that would take out any sort of outliers in a sense because you get a better understanding of the actual middle point than getting younger or older ages mixing in to give you a higher mean which is probably these two here and this is why it's always good to use the two because then you're able to see there's any sort of spread or deviation that you'll get between your data set so now if we move on to the mode 
but this time we're going to be doing both which is the min and the max so not just the max like last time so if we take that mode and copy we can just go in here paste and because we're going to use max let's go with that and then we're just going to do all and then we're going to call this mode max because then we're going to do the min as well and then all we need to do is just change table here and here and last but no means least here and if we drop that in we can see 45 is one of the highest and now if we take exactly that same code and go in and do that paste in and now we're going to call this min all you have to do is change where it says max at the top to min and now you're going to get the one that's at the bottom just copy that over let's get the min in and we can see there's two different ones that have the same amount now if we wanted to see what that is if we take the top end part here get that information we do modeling insert table the top end all and then we can have a look Ooh. and we can see here actually pulling up three of them so as you can see here max is picking up 45 even though it's not in that order it's picking up 45 because it's the highest amount and then the lowest amount is 37 which is what we got here so there is actually three in there but to be able to spot stuff like that this gives you a means to be able to actually quickly pull the information just to double check there aren't any extras in there so you can have more faith in the data what you're looking at and then if you want to have a little bit of fun we can drop all these in to have a look at the spread of the information in this data if we move this along and then i'll just speed this up so you don't have to put up with this and then if we were to just copy this table just for a bit of fun and then for this one let's remove actor award year and then we got there and then age and then this one let's leave actor and remove their age and now we can see a mixture of how many times people have won and then a breakdown of their age range as well. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you want to carry on your analytical journey, check out these videos over here. And as always, until next time.